Hi, and welcome to Down to Earth. We've been getting some great viewer questions recently, and here's another good one. We have a Chitalpa tree that's trunk has split. Well, let's start with a little background about this plant because it's key to knowing what the problems are. This is a hybrid between Chilopsis, or desert willow, and Catalpa. This is a larger tree than the desert willow with light, wider leaves and larger flowers, but it's much smaller than its other parent, Catalpa. As you know, Catalpa is a very large tree, and so you want to keep trees much smaller usually in your landscape. Catalpa also uses a lot more water than your desert willow. This tree was thought to have the best qualities of both of those plants, and it used to be recommended widely in the Southwest until we discovered problems with it tolerating extreme heat. So trunk splitting is a very common problem with this tree. Growth does return easily, but splitting happens continually every year. Trees can never completely recover from that, and not much can be done to prevent it. Also, complete defoliation in the summer is very common. So if this has happened to your Chitalpa tree, don't waste time. Go ahead and remove it and replace it if you want to, a similar tree, Desert Willow. The flowers on the Desert Willow are just as beautiful, but the leaves are more billowy. It's also much low water use and extremely heat and drought tolerant. It's a deciduous tree with really great winter sculpture. Our plant this week is Calilophus berlanderi, or berlanders or Drummond's sundrops. This is another one of our wonderful native plants, and the common name comes from the flowers that look like little drops of sunshine. It's covered in four inch wide, four petal yellow flowers, which as I said, look really nice. It flowers from early spring through summer, and it's another plant that's great for rock gardens or decomposed granite sites. It spreads to as wide as 20 inches, so give it lots of space. It normally forms little rounded clumps about 12 inches tall. It's hardy to zone seven, which makes it only hardy to about five degrees, which would normally make it great in our gardens. And as I said, it's native, so it does um, tolerate that in nature. It does prefer full sun and well-drained soil and low to moderate water. To do in your garden this week, if you have blackberries, you've harvested those fruit a few weeks ago, so you need to go ahead and prune those plants back. You wanna prune back all of the canes that bore fruit. And then the canes that did not bear fruit, you want to only prune them lightly. Canes are born, fruit is born on canes only in the second year of their growth. So those new canes you don't want to prune back harder, you won't have much fruit next year. We'd love to hear from you. So visit klru.org ctg to send us your question or plant of the week from your garden.